can you hear me gatti ma'am now yes sir you are audible clearly am i audible clearly to you uh let me ask our participants uh, ayat ka meshram sir madam sa awaaz yeto hai ka arun meshram sir ho oh, yeto yeah, yeah, clearly yeto hai ho oh, oh. आप इोन तो हेडफोन तो लगा ही लिए होंगे या 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 ठीक है 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 ये तो ना 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 नो 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 नाउ नाउ दिस इज़ फ़ाइन अभी आप जो जो लास्ट सेंटेंस बोला क्लियरली ऑडिबल इट वंडरफुल वंडरफुल ओके यस लेट अस बिगिन द सेशन नाउ या इट इज़ ऑलरेडी या सो वेलकम ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स इन दिस पोस्ट नून सेल से and uh, on behalf of my organizing committee uh, and on behalf of uh, government polytechnic nanded i uh, heartily welcome honorable dr jayashree katti ma'am uh, who has been a professor in a prestigious pimpri chinswad college of engineering pune and uh, uh, her topic uh, on which she will be uh, throwing light is augmented reality and virtual reality uh, or rather role of ar and vr in industry 4.0 uh, how we contacted her is really uh, rather a funny thing a story i was searching for the uh, fact uh, say expert or resource persons on this topic and i just uh, uh, went through the websites of engineering colleges of pune and i happened to uh, visit the pccoe site from where Uh, i found that her domain area he, it is one of the her domain areas uh, is ar and vr so i i just requested katti ma'am and she promptly or and readily accepted our request i am really grateful uh, to her for uh, uh, giving such a i mean uh, forthcoming uh, reply so uh, i would request katti ma'am to introduce herself to the audience and begin her session over to you katti ma'am thank you thank you sir um good afternoon one and all uh, i would like to thank first of all uh, professor raju sir and the government college uh, government polytechnic college nanded for giving me this opportunity to share things about augmented and real uh, virtual reality thank you sir thank and uh, getting the introduction of mine from a such a, a senior faculty i am really fortunate thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you yeah. um i'll share the screen sir just let me know whether it is visible is my screen visible sir yeah it's visible ma'am okay fine um sir has already given my introduction still uh, i completed my phd in 2019 my core area of research is cryptography but past 3 years i have taken interest with the augmented and virtual reality some of the projects we implemented and uh, some we are proposing for the uh, funding also so with this little knowledge i thought i can share something about augmented and virtual reality in industry 4.0 so before we go for the what uh, the thing with industry 4.0 this is the outline of my presentation will understand augmented reality virtual reality little bit about mixed reality brief about industry 4.0 impact of ar vr on industry 4.0 and development tools need to be used to develop ar and vr applications so let me start with augmented reality before that before that we all should understand why we need to go for ar and vr okay so what is or how important visualization visualization stimulates the what the same parts of brain when we actually perform the what same activity let's take a example okay so imagine okay imagine we are having a lunch we are having lunch and in my thali okay we have a lemon i am cutting it i am tasting it so when i 
imagine this sequence the same thing okay it feels like or we feel like we are actually eating the what a lemon so this is the what power of visualization so which is going to stimulate many parts of the what brain with which a lot of things become easier example if you take the what a uh, kid of 2 or 3 years he won't be able to tell the what uh, the spelling of apple but if you show him a apple he will say it's a apple it's a orange it's a banana visualization so that much powerful visualization is there so that's why we are going for augmented and virtual reality which are the what powerful tools for visualization so let me begin with the augmented reality so augmented reality has come into the you know uh, picture or it has become more powerful during the what covid 19 you know the time actually okay so before i go for augmented reality what exactly is augmented reality it's a overlaying of virtual objects on real world images and augmenting the what experience so the world is real if you are imagining a college college is real okay but if you are imagining you are walking through the college the person or the character will be imaginary a cartoon you can imagine a best example if i want to give for augmented reality is uh, pokemon pokemon go you know the game okay we some of uh, we might have heard about it okay you take the mobile wherever you go location is real but that pokemon okay it's a imaginary object okay so this is all about the what augmented reality augmented reality is a technology which delivers three basic qualities real time interaction mixed by a version of virtual and real object 3d modeling of real and virtual object so if i you know explain you the augmented reality it's a combination of a real world plus computer generated world or you can say virtual world so that's why in the sero i'm showing one and real world is there one and virtual reality is there okay and in between augmented reality will come means here 75% will be real 25% will be virtual so how exactly this augmented reality applications are developed in short i try my best to explain you how these augmented reality concepts will be developed uh, before i go uh, technically in detail okay so overall overall first of all what we do is we capture the what real world okay all the data it may be images video everything all the real world data we will collect and that will be my target first it's a base and then the virtual world modeling okay so i prepare a virtual model it may be a ball it may be a person or it may be anything okay that will be a virtual model and now this digital information will be overlaid on the augmented world okay so you take the imagine the you know the college or you can imagine the what one uh, fort also okay if you can imagine uh, something you are playing on a playground you are playing a cricket okay that will be a real world okay that character one character will be virtual so this is how we are developing the uh, augmented reality application so two things one is real world and another is virtual model so two things we are combining the technology the tools which we are developing or you can say using for development of augmented reality later we will say types of augmented reality so what are the different types of augmented reality so we have totally many are there but broadly we categorize the uh, types of augmented reality as markerless Uh, augmented reality marker based augmented reality projection augmented reality superimposition based augmented reality so these are the four you know the types of major types of augmented reality so one by one we will go this is called marker based augmented reality you can see here because sir already has given me an idea madam most of the crowd will be from mechanical of course see here nowadays it's uh, not like you know uh, mechanical or the computer are separate no nothing will work with this okay so now definitely we have to hold each other's hand to come out with the what 
a great application. See here, uh, three images I am showing here for marker-based AR. What is this marker-based AR? QR code, everyone we understand because see, barcode, QR code. So whenever if I take a mobile and if I click or a, uh, take an image or I can say I can scan the QR code, if at all I want to display something about particular uh, machine, a particular thing. Okay. So example here, car example we have, uh, I have shown here. So on this uh, wheel, okay, the QR code is stick. If I scan that QR code, okay, the real image of the car is coming. And apart from that, apart from that, all the details of that wheel will be coming. This is called marker-based augmented reality. All the information we can get when we scan the QR code or the image. One more, not only with the word QR code. See here, a plain paper, a plain paper is placed. A small, you know, uh, the symbol is placed, okay, which resembles the word home. If I'm just scanning that image, if I'm scanning that image, the image you can see is a home. That means with a simple image, you can give all the information related to particular thing. You can take a printer, you can take PC. Best example I'll uh, tell you. If I purchase an oven at my home, okay, I'm, it's a new for me. Okay, oven is new for me. I don't know how to operate it. So. Usually, whenever we are purchasing the oven, the manual will be given. So for operation, so you have to follow this step, that step, this step, then all. But nowadays, I think we can just place a what QR code. Even with the mobile, if you just scan that QR code, all the details about the oven will be coming to your mobile desktop. So this is how marker-based augmented reality works. And this is this has become more popular now. Everywhere you go, okay, marker-based augmented reality is coming. So best example is uh, you know uh, pretty with the what augmented reality concepts. Huh? Wonderful, you know the organization coordination. Next is uh, markerless augmented reality. Okay, so when you see the pictures, you only uh, you know imagine what kind of this augmented reality. See. Uh, the thing is, uh, now already the one company, IKEA, it's already operating with uh, markerless augmented reality. If I want to purchase any, you know, sofa or any furniture to my home, okay, I'm imagining, I'm imagining, but actually you can do this, okay. So you can uh, download the IKEA app, you can select your item, I can, you can take the picture of your home and it will show, it will show how that, how that, furniture looks with your uh, home or you can say their dining hall you can say your uh, uh, any bedroom cupboards how it is looking it will give a what clear idea okay with your with the size you can imagine how or you can uh, check out the color color of the sofa your wall color okay everything imagination okay so this is called markerless augmented reality so markerless augmented reality, best example is a lens cut also. So you choose this pact, okay, with your size, with your skin color, okay, it will recommend also. Actually, usually these kind of uh, applications, they not only work with augmented reality, they work with the recommendation system also. Because nowadays, a lot of, a lot of uh, shopping carts, okay, they are including recommendation system. How these recommendation system work, okay? If I want to buy specs, okay, age, different age people, kids are there, girls are there, ladies are there, gents are there, different category, different specs will be suggested. Okay, so it is going to save the customer's time even. You just hold your eyes in front of a camera, it will show you the picture with the spec you are choosing. So this is an example of markerless augmented reality. A great example or the third category, projection-based augmented reality. What is this projection-based augmented reality? The third, third image, if you could see, uh, projection of augmented reality. On my palm, I am having the word calculator. On my palm, I am having the word calculator. No device, nothing. Okay, just with the word LCD projector or any pro kind of projector, I'm operating everything. This works with the what, the lights cutting, okay? If you are just uh, giving an objection to the what light, okay, as per that, it is going to click the what, that button. So this is called a projection-based augmented reality. So the high-end, 
projection based augmented reality main application nowadays is with the word medical field most of the surgeons they are you know preferring this projection based augmented reality see i am telling you definitely industry 4.0 apart from this uh, biggest thing you know has been changed with the ar vr is the medical industry because of the medical industry problem is every day see they are doing the dissection of a what a dead body it's very difficult for any you know the medical colleges and all every day to get the what dead body because lot of formalities are there so in that case they are they are developing the what apps where with this apps students are learning the dissection properly right hand side i have shown the dissection or you can say the uh, visualization of a heart visualization of the heart a doctor if he expands he can open it he can check the wall how it is operating everything as same the original heart works so these kind of things happen with the what projection based augmented reality next is superimposed based augmented reality superimposed best example is uh, nowadays it's available also aquven app okay so these uh, nurses and all if we go for blood check and so very difficult okay especially uh, fat people like me okay it's very difficult to find the word vein on my hand okay so in that case the new app with the new device has come they are just uh, scanning the what hand immediately they'll get the what vein which is going to save lot of things see definitely it is not painful for me because i am not so old but uh, you know the patients which are very critical or the kids this kind of you know aquven app plays a very important role the superimposed based augmented reality one more example you can see a guy he is holding his hand a mobile he is checking whether this watch wrist watch suits me this is one example and this example even uh, we have developed my final year students already have developed this app on their own right hand side also x ray okay you hold your hand everything is visible so this is super imposed based augmented reality okay so augmented reality applications uh, ar is having wide variety of applications right from entertainment i tell you uh, augmented and virtual reality mainly they started in with what the intention of gaming actually never thought of you know having these kind of applications in real life they thought of having only applications in uh, the gaming 10 years back people were going for ms in gaming okay never thought they will jump into ar and vr and uh, they develop a wonderful you know the app, apps which are uh, having the societal touch gaming entertainment medical training education selling tourism industry so these are the five major areas where augmented and virtual reality are playing a wonderful tourism industry okay so imagine uh, i'm uh, visiting a what jodhpur fort so guides are there guides are having or guides can speak a limited number of languages they may speak hindi they may speak some you know uh, regional languages of india and they may speak some foreign language like you know english or nowadays japan and uh, germany languages but other than this if someone is coming they are uh, unable to you know convey the things the history to the word the uh, people so in that case in that case this augmented and virtual reality plays very important role we can just have a what uh, the qr code uh, sticking all together to the what the rooms whenever the person is coming and they, he is scanning that qr code the immediately audio or the video will play on his uh, you know mobile or audio telling all the history in his language this is one application for tourism industry so this is all about the augmented reality the hardware requirement now i'll go for hardware requirement at the end i'll tell you see ar and vr uh, softwares are too heavy actually see uh, we can just download within 5 minutes or 10 minutes for installation uh, they will take more than 7 to 8 hours minimum 4 gb ram we need minimum 2 gb graphics card okay so these are the requirements if at all we want to develop any app with augmented and virtual reality acha aise hi jaane wala jata kaisa plan hai andar okay so this i'll take it later because this is coming in uh, industrial 4.0 
virtual reality. Now we understood augmented reality. Augmented reality is all about 75% real, 25%, 25% virtual. As I said, okay. So imagine I'm walking through a fort. Okay, fort is real. I'm virtual. But in virtual reality, 75% is, uh, no, more than 75% is. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no issue, sir. 75% is virtual and 25% is what? Real. So imagine here, uh, but one more important thing here, 75% virtual and 25% actual, or you can say the uh, original physical word here, to achieve the virtual reality, I need the support of some special devices like head mount display. One example is head mount display. Here in a first picture, first picture, two guys are, you know, uh, having the head mount uh, display and they are seeing the what uh, the human body, all the nerves, all the parts of the body, everything they are studying. Actually, if you ask me what's a virtual reality, it is just mimicking the what real world. It's just mimicking the what real world. The cartoon what we are seeing is just a what virtual reality. The gaming a virtual reality best example. So next one more thing is most probably, most probably virtual reality are used for the water training in Air Force or some you know kind of you know applications where you can see here uh, a person uh, even in driving also car driving. Okay, so virtual reality best example also gaming zone if we go, okay, we are driving the car, the roads, everything I'm seeing, that's a virtual one, virtual one. And but uh, the stay, uh, steering and all, that's a real one, I'm moving it. Okay, technically virtual reality is a technology which allows user to interact with computer simulated environment. It's a computer simulated environment where the environment is simulated a simulation of real world or an imaginary world. Everything is imaginary, nothing is real here. Now, when we talk about the what uh, virtual reality, when we talk about virtual reality, we have different, you know, the levels of virtual reality. So on outside, if we say virtual reality, it looks a single word. No, we have the what different levels of immersion, the deep. So how much immersion we have in the what uh, virtual reality? First of all, first level of immersion is non-immersive. It's what? Non-immersive. Non-immersive integration through computer or mobile. Example, computer game. Non-immersive. See, you are just playing. Okay, you are just playing. And uh, see, a uh, computer game, if you take some four characters are there, out of those characters, so you will be one. Okay, Ramu will be one character. Who's Ramu is, uh, me is the word Ramu, and I'm playing. So this is called a non-immersive. No, no, you know, uh, actual, uh, you know, interaction with the uh, uh, simulated world also. Through character, I'm interacting with the virtual environment. You can see a guy playing the what, uh, the game. So this is a non-immersive. Non Second is fully immersive, okay? So second level of immersion of a virtual reality is what? Fully immersive. So where I'm wearing the what? Uh, uh, head mounted display, okay? I'm experiencing, okay? If I can imagine, okay, paragliding, okay? I, I can imagine I'm just jumping and it, I can imagine, I can uh, see everything like, you know, I'm going in a valley, I'm going up, okay, I'm going down, everything. So this is some part of real experience. Although I'm, I'm not going anywhere, I'm in the same room, same room, but the special equipments like head mounted display, some gloves, some sensors, I can feel it. Okay, so this best example, I can tell you fully ex uh, immersive. Um, amusement parks, amusement parks are already implemented this. In amusement park, okay, I think I experienced in, you know, um, Chennai. Okay, where uh, they are giving a feel like, you know, I'm just, you know, traveling to the cruise. Okay, how it is uh, moving. Okay, everything, all that, you know, uh, the iceberg is coming. Everything, the imaginary events they create. But we feel it like a what? Real. Because we have never gone anywhere. We are in the same room. But the feeling. So this is called fully immersive where the person is acting as per the what? Events. Next is semi-immersive, 
okay semi immersive virtual reality in semi immersive virtual reality the equipments you can see a guy is sitting the equipments are real okay but the outside screen okay it's not real it's imaginary it's imaginary he is uh, you know um, riding a what you can taking a flight okay so everything he can operate but not on the what actual real world but with the what virtual virtual world so this is called a semi immersive next we understood the what augmented reality we understood the virtual reality augmented reality more more you know uh, near to the real world virtual reality ahead or you can say the far from the what real world it's a mimicking the what the real world so nothing is real everything is virtual okay sometimes we may act as a character sometimes we some characters will act like a what a person the master are who die और जो देहात से आने वाले हैं और जिधर मेहमान आ रहे हैं उनसे दरखास्त है yeah, इस चक्कर में आप ना पड़े मुकम्मल तौर पर आप दीदार करते रहे fine so next what's the difference between augmented and virtual reality augmented reality works with any devices but virtual reality needs the what uh, special devices like head mount display augmented reality shows the content of real world virtual reality mimicking the what real world so no exact copies okay so these are the major differences of uh, augmented and virtual reality i just thought i should share this with you all okay because see as this is the new technology how it is impacting the what market the comparison ar versus vr with the what market so 2015 actually augmented reality started so in 2017 you know virtual reality started but now currently augmented reality is surpassing the what virtual reality market with what in 40 billion business next here just thought uh, to have the what clear picture of augmented and virtual reality so real environment virtual environment a car at the real car image or car is there virtual reality environment a simulation of that car has been created augmented reality see here when i open the what uh, the car i can give the what uh, qr code to the particular uh, you know the parts if at all i am scanning that the information of that part can be uh, visible or you can say i can read it okay this is augmented reality environment i thought i should say uh, share some you know the vr devices uh, head mounted display so oculus quest is there okay samsung gear okay and sony playstation sir. so these are the what uh, major uh, virtual reality devices sir. this sony playstation okay two or three people can play virtual see sir, sitting on the simul, uh, sitting in the single room okay uh, going nowhere okay not with the what uh, grounds and all we can play okay with the help of what vr devices so one more device uh, majorly playing uh, or considered is data glows okay data glows are majorly used in uh, vr devices now comes to the what uh, ar technologies so augmented reality technologies are unity is a editor majorly known as unity hub uh, for students it is available freely we can just download Uh, for enterprise edition and all okay uh, it cost actually okay but for the beginners and all we can download easily freely then we have to download the what euphoria platform which is a api okay so for 3d modeling then euphoria works with uh, you know c++ java because see uh, i know many are maybe um, familiar with c c++ and java so euphoria is comfortable with what c++ java and uh, we can import or we can uh, have the collaboration of euphoria with unity ios air 
toolkit tool is there air toolkit android air core is there so these are some technologies majorly not limited i am just listed so they are not limited these are the technologies which are used for augmented reality technologies majorly i use unity and euphoria for development of what uh, 3d modeling and the augmented reality apps these are some devices for augmented reality again i have already listed oculus is there epson vr google glass uh, microsoft hololens 2 is there yes next is the point to be discussion or the point of discussion for today industry 4.0 4.0 4.0 okay so now majorly what industry 4.0 before that i thought okay i'll just little i'll discuss with you what first three revolution of industries in the first three revolution first industrial revolution the target or you can say the goal was mass production mass production they may hire a lot of you know uh, human resources but mass production was the what goal in the first industrial revolution second industrial revolution some degree of automation with you know the uh, uh, impact of you can say the telephones and telegraph okay some kind of automation they achieved the communication was easy actually communication made easy with the telephone and telegraph so with this okay some kind of automation uh, started in the third you know industry 4.0 computers were in introduced for manufacturing so computers when computer comes collecting the data sharing the data okay and about all program logic controls a lot of things changed with this P plcs a lot lot of things again sensors were introduced okay so with these things you know computer era you can say in the third industrial revolution but now computers are there next in the industry 4.0 is all about the data exchange cloud computing cyber physical system cognitive computing iot so these all things will make the what industry 4.0 so other than this other than this the trend right now is with ar and vr so i take little time just to you know touch all these six points data exchange see when machine is there when the you know the you take the what uh, manufacturing industry you take any industry okay so data is generated when i take Uh, when a flight takes off lot of data is generated so now the thing is the era is all about the big data analysis data exchange cloud computing now we are not depending on the what the machine what we are buying see initially we used to think like you know we will buy i3 machines i5 machines i7 machines no need it get it from cloud everything is available all the computing uh, equipments all the power okay the storage everything is available with the cloud a small configuration uh, machine also will work now okay so that's why this is how lot of cost will be reduced for the industry then cyber physical system i think tomorrow you have the what the session on cyber physical system cyber physical systems security initially when you imagine a factory having what some 10 machines great i uh, know okay mechanical people are having the what uh, this uh, Uh, machineries okay machines with crore you know the investment or some what if i like machine is there 50 lakh machine is there 70 lakh machines are there okay but we computer people we know only one you know the computer and we sleep you know really because see we we are assured my data no one will get it because i protected with my password so now a days all your machines are password protected best example cars best examples are what cars okay initially just unlock lock okay remote control so nowadays with the password everything with the what password so when you uh, image or when you think about the password password again lot of research a retina with a retina also we can just open a car with the you know fingerprint also we can open a car with the voice also we can open a car depends you take a word okay lot of things will come with the what passwords next is very important cognitive computing artificial intelligence machine learning so now you are making your machines to learn okay so more more you know the automation with you know the artificial intelligence and um, 
machine learning next is iot internet of things okay so these are they look so small do a lot of things sitting at sitting at the what you can say uh, office we can shut down the machines which are at the remote places which are at the remote places sitting in india i can just operate a what machine which is situated in what new york this is a power of uh, you know internet of things next the new thing added is augmented and virtual reality in the further slides i am just explaining you how ar and vr is impacting the what industry 4.0 why you know industry 4.0 even more uh, you know automation bridging the what the gap between physical and digital world personalization customization of the product early involvement of what stakeholders very important so these are the four major points these are the four major points which we need to consider for industrial 4.0 example i take personalize or customization of the product okay so now uh, 20 years back okay 50 years back when we go a car okay volkswagen okay one car released okay, now no okay lot of customization is needed even when a, a youngster if uh, he wants to purchase a car lot of customization he needs in the car so in that case early involvement of the stakeholders is very important role how he needs the you know equip, you know the look you can say the color everything you can show it with the what um, example augmented and virtual reality that's why so with this point uh, with this point augmented and virtual reality plays a very important role smart factories for industry 4.0 they want smart factories not the what regular one uh, you know you can say your um, cloth mills okay any uh, food production mills anything anything okay so now they need to be smart actually so whenever we are saying smart okay iot comes actually most probably okay the name okay iot do, does a lot of things nowadays actually smart factories characteristics equipped with advanced sensors collecting all the information then analyze it now next is erp supply chain customer service okay so if this is the case include the word blockchain no third party needed here the blockchain is taking care of everything next third point is digital technologies leading to the what increased automation predictive maintenance self optimization and process improvement so these are the what characteristics of smart factories and now i'll tell you how ar and vr playing the what role in industry simulations first of all simulations of products processes and the production plants all the the complete production plants can be simulated with augmented and virtual reality design phase of products or processes validation of prototypes you create a prototype of any product okay the validation can be done with the what augmented and virtual reality training the professionals when a new product is launched okay the training of that can be done with virtual reality optimizes the what learning process okay see when i listen to now also we are listening okay so 50 uh, you know the participants are there for 70% are there so they are listening to me but now if at all i prepare a prototype if they uh, can you know act with it okay definitely the more learning will be there so this is how you know it's going to optimize the what learning and making it more autonomous personal next is very interesting thing related to mechanical industry digital twin okay so what is a digital twin so digital twin is a exact replica of the what real equipment or you can say real plant whatever you say so um the digital twin the digital twin if i characterize characterize this it is having the what the similar size as the original one mainly okay it is accurate or animated copy of the original one details depending on the what use case and 
real time information can be added real time information okay so mainly uh, for this digital twin okay digital twin one example a uh, lot of things i have shown here a ship okay the motor i sorry but i don't know the you know the machine name car okay so digital twin of a car okay and the you know oil rig okay i can show you here so here lot of things uh, a lot of things or a lot of time will be saved with the digital twin okay if a new person joins to the word company if you want to train him okay so you just give him the what digital twin of that product he will open it he will see all the working of that part he will see all the working of that product everything he will learn on his own in this way the thorough training will be given to the what new joinee as well as time also will be saved and apart from this apart from this predictive maintenance okay and the services will be given with the word digital twin you can imagine now digital twin can come at different levels also factory level the complete the factory can be made the or a digital twin of the complete factory also can be made or only a line of production a digital twin can be created a particular machine as i have shown here that also can be done or the complete product digital twin also can be prepared so this is all about the word digital twin if you out of interest if you ask me how much time how much time you can you can see here one uh, digital twin of our oil rig i had already shown how much time and how much you know human resource needed to develop this i just asked one person from wipro okay because i was having an interaction with him he said madam two years and more than 100 people are working with this project imagine how tedious job this is it's not so easy as i said these all include the what visualization videos okay images okay and over and all okay need the what heavy software so this collaboration implementing takes a lot of time because when we say digital twin it's a exact replica of the what the original one with the dimensions we have to create the what original one so definitely but it's a revolution now okay in the industrial or industry point of view ar vr in manufacturing so which ar vr virtual and augmented reality okay plays a very important role in what we can say manufacturing reduces the what a time to market ar vr vr reduces the risk of one site accidents okay so manufacturing site okay uh, again in the training itself okay if a dangerous uh, you know uh, situation is there one example i give okay so that you can connect or uh, relate it to your situation of manufacturing imagine someone is having a phobia of snake someone is having a phobia of what snake okay so if i want to you know uh, cure this phobia of a snake i have to i have to expose that person in front of a real snake then only he will get rid of the what you can say this phobia so to do that a doctor a doctor is a fool if he is making him to you know uh, expose in front of us you know real snake not possible very difficult or very dangerous even so in that case in that case augmented reality plays a very important role we can create a model of uh, you know snake with the virtual reality okay we can create a model of a snake which looks very exactly like a snake and we can make we can make that virtual object to move on the body of a what that person and then then note down the behavior of that person in this way a doctor can read or uh, you know analyze the characteristic of the patient how he is acting and he can cure it so in the same way in the manufacturing also uh, if a very dangerous you know the activities are there in the manufacturing for the newly joined people you can just uh, uh, make him to operate with the what virtual manufacturing plant and then once he will understand study okay habitual to that then you can uh, expose him to the what real plant so this is how you know the augmented and virtual reality helps in what manufacturing we are solutions okay for industries we are training virtual reality training okay product visualization and then virtual experience 
we are training as i already explain uh, explain you like uh, you can if you want to train somebody uh, with a particular product or with a particular process uh, create a what uh, you know virtual reality of that and uh, expose the what that person to the virtual world and he can learn on his own product visualization okay in the product visualization um clients will have the water clients clients just a minute eh? yeah in the product visualization clients before they buy anything they can have the what complete view of that product no hide and seek here everything will be transparent to him okay and he can imagine also how it looks and all virtual experience so uh, some experience like you know with the touch and all okay the with the sound effect and with the smell effect that also will be possible with vr solutions so here i thought uh, sir asked me to what cut short the word things because it's afternoon session so i just give little idea so if at all you want later we can discuss on this mainly for industry 4.0 vr solutions are factory replica workstation replica and product vr replica factory replica the replica of the whole factory is created okay as you can say it's a part of digital twin okay so uh, then here it will be helpful for the what factory replica means what it will help for the what factory planning how my factory will look like where should be the what uh, first room where will, will be the second room third room okay all your designs okay how your factory will look so that will be the given idea then workstation particular machine and then product so all these replicas can be generated ar solution a great uh, you know the things going with you what ar solutions or uh, ar product demonstration okay so uh, imagine okay uh, vacuum cleaner okay a product vacuum cleaner so how vacuum cleaner is working in a room okay so we can just hold it on the what room and how it is cleaning how it is doing everything we can see and uh, one more thing uh, when we say simulation simulation the complete thing can be virtualized or part can be virtualized part can be uh, you know the original one real world ar vr labs may, most probably in medical industry ar training augmented reality training okay can be done uh, for industries so this is all about the what uh, augmented and virtual reality so thank you so much sir so this is from my side so faculties if any doubts you can ask me so we can have the discussion uh, thank you very much ma'am and uh, one of the honorable uh, uh, attendee of this program is our uh, beloved and respected principal sir uh, dr goraksha garje sir is on board uh, to uh, especially attend this program sir has joined garje sir oh. uh, uh, may i request honorable garje sir. sir to yeah yeah garje sir has also joined <coughs> good afternoon madam <laughs> good afternoon sir he is the person oh, who has you? taken my interview in my college sir <laughs> <laughs> oh yes yes so nice uh, to be part of this are, uh, yeah thank you very much so yeah. how are things going on yeah fine sir actually <laughs> new technology new uh, things learning mode <laughs> right right, right, right. so, we were, so we thank you on behalf of uh, government polytechnic nanded uh, for sparing your valuable time and guiding our participants <laughs> thank you sir thank you so much and uh, i request if at all any students are interested if at all any students wants to know more about the augmented and virtual reality i am always there hello uh, yeah, yeah ma'am uh, 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 ma'am uh, i have one doubt um, before ma'am ma please uh, introduce uh, mulge madam uh, i request you to please introduce you and then please okay. go ahead okay sir okay sir uh, myself madhu mulge i'm a lecturer in computer department from government residential women's polytechnic latur i have one doubt uh, 
actually uh, in virtual reality there is a concept of holographic reality i think uh, does it uh, relate to that uh, virtual reality or the animation techniques or iot can you focus on that no no iot is completely different ma'am iot is completely different iot is internet of things huh? so internet of no, things no uh, means uh, it merged the many techniques uh, holographic uh, virtual reality or the holographic concept uh does it relate to your uh, virtual reality concept or uh, any other technique no i think see uh, things are related to what uh, ar and vr because here we are including the content reading uh, i just missed one point augmented and virtual reality definitely they are not standing uh, separately we have to mm -hmm. include you know the or we have to take help of uh, cognitive computing artificial yeah. intelligence yeah learning. they won't stand mm -hmm. see if uh, i'm saying training and uh, mm -hmm. if i'm saying a digital twin will be created so in the digital mm -hmm. twin uh, i'm saying okay the exact replica of the machine okay mm -hmm. so if you hit mm -hmm. a machine how it acts everything okay i have to train it then only it right. will act so mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the same concept uh, i read in uh, previous magazine i uh, don't remember but uh, it was a pre uh, in before uh, 15 years ago uh, that uh, holographic virtual reality uh, concept so yeah, i remember yeah. that concept eh? yeah yeah nice no ma'am like you know uh, 20 years back and all uh, you know computer graphics we learned then uh, gaming we learned and now the everything is you know packed as augmented and virtual reality as i said mm -hmm. they are not just with the what graphics or they are not just with the computer vision hmm. they are with the what uh, augment uh, artificial intelligence they are with machine learning then only complete package you can say augmented reality application mm -hmm. right okay thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am i just read a couple of days ago i read in the newspaper that uh, with the advent of uh, ar and vr the cost of cinematic production also would uh, go down in future of course sir, definitely no <laughs> because see, vfx uh, we are learning okay so we are seeing everything uh, if you take the what film industry they are not going here and there everything is on the what uh, their room now yeah yeah lot of things they lot of cost cutting has been done in the entertainment industry also okay uh, any more question please people especially from computer and it feel free to ask we have some yeah. uh, uh, 5 to 10 just last minutes. point uh, last point Uh, if you allow me sir yeah yeah please go ahead to begin with uh, you know if at all people are interested to uh, especially mechanical people if you want to develop uh, you know uh, one app with augmented and virtual reality simple thing is uh, create a 3d model with any of the 3d model tools uh, being a you know uh, it faculty or it person uh, i go with blender okay create a 3d model and then make use of unity and euphoria so unity editor you know help a moving of the what object and euphoria helps for the programming all the characteristics and all so this is how with a small concepts we can develop our own augmented and virtual reality app it's not so difficult as we imagine also yes sir okay are there any prerequisites for them uh, no, sir. for developing uh, little little, little uh, you know little knowledge not so big also little knowledge of programming nothing else this is a 3d modeling and everything if you use unity it's very easy a blender is has been used by the what uh, seventh or eighth uh, standard kids nowadays i think yeah yeah <laughs> okay yeah. Ah, there are some uh, is there any query uh, hello sir say? can i please hello sir can i please hello Ah uh, yeah yeah please go ahead ma'am uh hello ma'am uh, yes, i am rupalika sir from government residential women's polytechnic actually ma'am uh, i have uh, in the magazines i have read that uh, the parameter time compression that uh, in the virtual reality actually in the games when uh, mm -hmm. we are playing the games that uh, virtual reality creates that effect time compression how means uh, that time goes uh faster than we think in the games okay, okay. so how means how no i don't see is... simple logic ma'am simple logic see uh, what i worked with uh, knowledge i'll share with you okay with the uh, you mm -hmm. know unity there is a tool actually take a ball okay which is moving on the ground 
So it asks, yeah. okay, what's the delay you are placing it here? Okay, so delay the what delay? I said as for that only the ball is moving. In the same way, you are talking about the game, so you, it is moving ahead of the time, right? You are yeah. You are curious. Means psychologically, uh, time goes faster than we think okay. in the games. Okay, so maybe uh, I think because see, it should not happen because as you program in that way, characters are uh, playing, right? Yes, 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 ma'am. Uh, yes. So it's a matter of a programming. The delay what you set for the moment of that object, as for mm -hmm. that only it will act. It will act. Mm. Yes, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, yes. Ah, Hibrali, Hibrali, sir. Ah, uh, oh. thank you very much, madam. Thank you, no, sir. Uh, madam, I just want to ask you that suppose uh, in our mechanical engineering, suppose we decided to make any our lab, virtual lab. Huh. So uh, what preparations or what uh, um, educations or training uh, we have to take for converting that lab, ma'am? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, nice to you know hear this, actually, uh, sir. Actually, uh, long back, I had an interaction with uh, Dr. Parle. So who is you know into more into uh, augmented and virtual reality? Even in my college, we wanted to develop a lab of you know augmented and virtual reality. As I said in the, my presentation also, AR doesn't need you know any extra additional devices, but virtual reality definitely takes the support of additional uh, devices like head mount display and the data gloves and all. But if you take the head mount, uh, mount display also, particular application, sir, only particular application, it will work. So virtual reality development as a lab, okay, um, it takes a lot of, I think, financially little difficult because one one equipment also 2.5 to 3 uh, lakhs are there. But augmented reality, most of the time it works with the app. Maybe we can develop an augmented reality, uh, you know, the lab easily compared to virtual reality. Virtual reality, depending on the applications. Yeah, we would uh, definitely like to take forward your suggestion, ma'am. Uh, our uh, HOD electrical uh, Sarvadhyay sir wishes to ask you something. Sarvadhyay sir, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sarvadhyay sir, uh, please unmute your mic. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, madam. Uh, yeah, please. Yes, yes. Uh, madam, we generally use finite element methods for electrical, mechanical things. Then we get the result. We get the results. So that can be also treated as a simulation of that. Whether it is then virtual reality or something else. Of course, it's a virtual reality. Elements, if you are okay. imagining, no? okay. it's an imagination. Uh, but that can be actually true values. No, uh, see, uh, augmented reality, no, sir. Augmented reality, see, example, I'll, I'll make it clear uh, ah. for your example. Because electrical, little less I understand. Okay, but still I try to clear it. See, yes, I am yes. walking the, through a room. Okay, room is real. I am holding a mobile. Okay, uh, yes. I'll give one example. Imagine, okay, I want to walk uh, through the paths of Kashmir. Okay. What I'll do, I'll take my mobile, okay, I'm holding, app is taking me to the word Kashmir, okay, it feels me like, you know, I'm going, okay, I take left, I take right, everything is looking like real, with augmented reality, yeah. virtual reality, cartoon, sir, Kashmir ka replica, getting my point, yeah. Kashmir, okay, it's yeah. a replica, yeah. so in augmented reality, real Kashmir me me ja rahi actually, it feels uh -huh. like that. So your point is what you asked me, electrical finite. Uh, uh, that finite element methods, we get the results. Uh -huh. And that those can be used for designing machines. Uh -huh. Then uh, we see the distribution of say, uh, current or fluxes for electrical things. So whether those should be treated as a virtual reality then? Uh, sir, I think uh, I need some time to understand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We may connect in, uh, you know, personally, no problem. I can answer. Uh, okay. Sarvadhan, sir. This is just like a digital twins. Madam also told uh, about that uh, digital twin. Finite element model oh. is a digital twin of that model. Already, okay, okay. Madam has told uh, regarding that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Nanat Shinde, sir. My point clear. 
thank you sarvajna sir for being uh, uh, one of the attendees navrat shinde sir please go ahead yes sir madam uh, the application of uh, ar vr for designing modeling or simulation it's okay but uh, how about uh, the actual application application of the ar vr in the production actual production in the production how oh, ar vr can be used in in actual production ha huh. uh production of any uh, item you are telling means how exactly the production industry no no in the production industry the ar vr is used for uh, simulating or modeling or designing exactly exactly am i right actual production you are asking no sir no ah. i think uh, actual production actual production how it is applicable how ar vr is applicable for actual production directly i don't think so yeah, directly this is going to impact to the water production because see manufacturing the component mm -hmm. it, directly it is not no sir because simulation it will be helpful in the training quality control and you can say the third party demonstrations also yeah yeah yes okay i think uh, we have come to uh, the end of this session and uh, uh, before our uh, coordinator expresses uh, our co coordinator expresses vote of thanks uh, i would express our gratitude uh, towards our honorable principal for uh, attending this program uh, and uh, also to dr jay shri katti ma'am i would now uh, request my co coordinator dr saud santosh choudhury sir uh, to express vote of thanks thank you thank you very much sir so this was one of the finest and very good session we have here madam has elaborated everything regarding what is ar what is vr what is mr what is the difference between ar and mr what are the advantages what are the different requirements about ar and vr in his session it's very nice to listen all these things as a mechanical engineering for me just now our uh, respected head of the department sarvadna sir also asked one question related to efea and all these things and when i just listen all this uh, lecture i can directly collaborate my FEA knowledge with augmented reality and everything. Thank you very much, madam. So thank on on the view on the view of uh, mechanical engineering department, government polytechnic, Nanda. I'm very much thankful to you, and uh, with kind permission of uh, our uh, respected honorable principal sir and uh, program coordinator. i'll say this session is going to end here and uh, thank, you. thank you very much once again thank you sir uh, thank you uh, dr gajesh sir and uh, professor rajesh sir thank you so much for having me here thank you thank you, thank you so much our best wishes thank you thank you so much thank you uh, so i would uh, uh, yeah yeah uh, with your permission itself uh, we would like to end the session thank yes, you sir. thank you uh, so much sir. yeah uh, all dear participants thank you for uh, uh, your such a good attendance over here a very very nice session from a, a world renowned personality dr avinash sauji uh, who runs an ngo uh, known as prayas he is going to give us certain uh, uh, tips on stress management very very nice uh, initiatives and uh, से अपन ज्यादा उपक्रम मन तो अच्छा सुंदर सुंदर उपक्रम हाथी घोबत साढ़े तीन वजता जॉइन हो रहा है अपना सर्वान मी पुनः एक विनंती है कि आप सर्वानी लेक्चर का अवश्य लाभ घयावा फार सुंदर अत्यंत नम्र पर्सनैलिटी है पैंडेमिक का स्वतः डॉक्टर है पैंडेमिक का 
हजारो लोकांना स्ट्रेस कसा हँडल करावा याविषयी खूप चांगलं मार्गदर्शन केलं आहे तर इतक्या चांगल्या व्यक्तीच एक योग जुळून आलेला आहे तर आपण सर्वांनी कृपया साडेतीन ला जॉईन व्हावं तर आपण आता हे सेशन इथे एंड करूया धन्यवाद सगळ्यांना मनपूर्वक